Wait, tiptoeing child? What are you talking about? Yo, yo, look at this guy. That's <laughs> amazing. Genshin Impact players. Let's see. The best team for Spiral Abyss. Floor one for three stars. Um, really, it's a matter of looking at what's there and what characters you have. My my recommendation is not a specific team for Spiral Abyss Floor 3, right? My recommendation is just have a main damage dealing character that you enjoy playing and then level up some other characters, but not as much to support that character. Because really, you just you want you want you want your support characters. They don't have to be cutting edge. They just need to be enough to like heal and help you with reactions and stuff. And you'll have one character especially in the early stages of the spiral abyss that really kind of carries you through it um well just you know having characters that heal them and all that that's my advice is really focusing on that is just making sure you have one character that can handle basically everything and then uh you know damage wise and then have your other characters there to make sure that character can can function peapot or venti in general you main could change in terms of look venti warps the game but I think Peepaw's the is it makes every all the content easier regardless. Like not everything Venti cannot do everything. He does a lot. He's busted. But Peepaw's shield just makes everything infinitely easier. Um, if I if I personally had to pick between the two of them, which one I wanted more, I would probably go with uh, with Peepaw actually. You hear that team Peepaw? I would go with the Peepaw over Venti. R5 Homa. I'm not gonna R5 Homa, but well, you know what? We'll pull on the weapon banner a couple times so we can see what what kind of a bad idea it is. Hold on here. We'll just we'll just take uh we'll take this many right now. We'll just go hit the weapon banner with that. How about that? We'll hit the weapon banner a couple times. A little bonus. Well, since we came in way ahead of schedule. Let's see real quick. Weapon banner sucks. Weapon banner sucks. Never wish on the weapon banner, because the weapon banner sucks. Chat, the weapon banner doesn't suck! chat <laughs> look i i know not what i am can you imagine can you imagine this would be an ammo spell watch it's be an ammo spell let's get it let's get it chat ammo spell let's go no screw you weapon banner you suck weapon banner sucks weapon banner sucks all right you know what whatever weapon banner we'll give you one more Yep, weapon banner still sucks. Trace, let me let me show you. So Sucrose. I'll show you why Sucrose is good. Um, so on our artifacts, you can get elemental mastery on the sands, on the cup, and on the hat, you can get elemental mastery. You want that on all of them, and I'll show you why in a little bit. And anything else that can roll elemental mastery, you want it there too. Um, if you have C1 on Sucrose, that's great. Um, if you don't have C1 on Sucrose, you can make it work, but C1 makes it really good. Um, and here's what Sucrose does. So first off, the four-piece viridescent set. I think most people know what that is. And it basically, the four-piece says when you swirl something, it, it decreases the resistance to whatever you swirled with it. So if you want to do a big pyro hit with Hu Tao, having four-piece here and reducing their pyro resistance, big deal. It makes a big difference. All right. And then the other crazy stuff that she does, right? So just her talent right here, this level one talent. Um, whenever she does a swirl, every party member that has a matching element gets 50% elemental mastery just, just, just for that. This one, Ascension level four, Stay a while huge. And listen. Ascension level four says that whenever she uses one of her abilities, the rest of your party gets an increase to their elemental mastery equal to 20% of Sucrose's elemental mastery. It's big. It's really big. All right. Listen. When you combine that with the fact that you have a ton of elemental mastery pieces on her, my, my alt account Sucrose has 750 elemental mastery. So... Whenever she basically swirls anything, my entire entire party gets an additional 200 summon elemental mastery. And on top of that, she can give things the suck. She swirls elements around. That's, it's listen. just absolutely just she's super utility that way. Her ult also does some swirls. It's not super crowd control like Venti, though it sort of looks like it, which is why people called her budget Venti. But because she's just an elemental mastery buffing machine, let's look at what element, elemental mastery does for Hu Tao. So I have 128 elemental mastery on Hu Tao, and that 128 elemental mastery on its own increases vaporize and melt damage by 23.3%. Imagine if we tripled this because we could build our sucrose and do you know give another 200 elemental mastery to this. All of a sudden, you're going to be doing a ton more damage. And so you combine that with all the other buffs and decreases to defense you get from Peepaw Shield and everything, all of a sudden you're going to be hitting for big numbers. And that that really is part of why people hit for big numbers in this game. That's a, that's a mood. <gasps> Yo, Peepaw gets to do Peepaw best over here. Hold on, Peepaw. Let's get it. Oh, yeah, Peepaw. C2 Sucrose versus Venti with Hu Tao. 
Um, it depends what you're trying to do. If you're trying to control the field, Sucrose is going to make your Hu Tao do more damage. Venti will make her do some more damage, but Venti's main utility isn't so much making your characters do more damage as to making everything you're fighting not able to do anything. Venti is just warps the battlefield. Sucrose is what makes you see big numbers. So whatever is more fun for you is what I would recommend in that case. Um, do I think that Hu Tao is worth pulling over Venti if you have Xiao and Ganyu as main DPS? So honestly, Pragmatic, like with a Xiao and Ganyu, like you can you can probably go beat the game, beat the Abyss. The question is, do you want some crazy half dead, you know, funeral home worker just poking things aggressively for pyro damage? Like if the gameplay looks fun, it is what it is. Like Hu Tao is going to do busted, consistent game breaking damage, I think. Venti breaks the game because he just is basically like an easy mode button. Ultimately, like that's a decision. Like I don't think you would go wrong with either character. It's more about what you would enjoy playing more personally dude venti plus ganyu is disgusting though venti plus ganyu is disgusting maybe uh maybe turtle monk is lurking around he can uh highlight that little little talk my my number one thing in this game over over all else is to optimize for fun i like doing busted things i like having busted numbers and so like venti is fun because like venti's fun because he makes it so things can't do anything sucrose is fun Look, one of the one of the really big advantages to Sucrose, like Venti, yeah, if you want to build him as a support, you can put whatever you want on him. That's fine. One of the advantages to Sucrose is a lot of gear, kind of like Shangli and Alfredo. A lot of gear that might have just been throwaway gear before is actually pretty good on on uh, on Hu Tao. I, I, I know I was saying Sucrose. I think I was saying Sucrose, but I'm talking Hu Tao. A lot of gear that would have been throwaway gear before is is actually not bad on Hu Tao, and she can still do decent damage. Wait, tiptoeing child? What are you talking about? Yo, yo, look at this guy. <laughs> That's amazing. I like it. I like it. We're tap dancing. Look at him. Look at him go. Look at him go. I didn't even know that was a thing. But but Peepaw please has taught me the way. I have learned the way. This is beautiful. Look at him go. Chat, look at him go. He's doing laps. This is the fastest tiptoe laps ever on record. <laughs> What has my life turned into? <laughs> anyway.